Okay, so I haven't played with the liquid colors yet. Um, I did see them being used at convention. That was back in June, so it's been a little while. And I wanted to try a couple things. This one is pretty amethyst. I'm also going to take the lovely blue. That's so pretty. And then lemon drop as well. We're going to see what kind of mess I can make. This is going to work out or not. And then I have a water brush. Bear with my music. I always craft with music on. And this is just a scrap piece of paper, coffee paper. And then I'm going to take some of this lovely blue. I'm going to color the flower in her hair. And I'm not coloring the face in or anything. And we're going to see what this does. And because it's so liquidy, instead of flipping the stamp over and having the liquid drip everywhere, I'm going to take my piece of cardstock, I'm going to place it on there, and then I'm going to rub it. I'm holding it in place with my other hand. And you can see the image starting to go through. And that is the watercolor image with the liquid color. I kind of like that without all the elements of a blank face. So you can get more detailed with it. Um, I didn't do her arms or her face. And obviously you can go ahead and do that. I did try to mix the purple amethyst and the Made Splash. I didn't do a very good job of differentiating the colors between there. But I do kind of like how this com came out. And it actually kind of has a... An emboss fill right now, but that's only because the paper's still wet. So I don't know if you can see that. So I think I will use this on my card. And again, that was using the water brush and the liquid colors. And you can also buy the whole liquid color set as a bundle currently.